Listen, Stoner, you gotta believe me here. Vote off the gentleman right now. I've been telling you and everybody else in this horrible game meeting after meeting, but no one believes me. He's never done a single task, he's been caught next to the scene of the crime, and he's wearing two top hats. Only an insane person would do that. Vote him off now and we can win the game. Whoa, really seems like you're grasping at straws there, compadre. You got like any further evidence or whatever? Okay, okay, okay. Let me just start from the beginning. Huh, so this is the Among Us game everybody's talking about. Yes, yes indeed, good sir. Oh, hello there. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is The Gentleman. This here is my associate, Mr. Cheese. My name is Mr. Cheese. Speak what oh. spoken to, Mr. Cheese. My apologies. It appears Mr. Cheese has yet to learn his manners. Owie. Uh, okay. Ah, and it looks like your name is Player. How charmingly quaint. Well, actually, my name is- uh, bu -bu 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 Mr. Player. Everyone goes by their usernames in here. Oh, okay. Got it. Let me introduce you to the rest of the ensemble. That right there is Sheriff. He is a bit of a loose cannon, very accusatory. Then there's his counterpart, Angel, a perfect role model for any crewmate. Next, we got Stoner. He's a rather peculiar individual. Followed up by Rose and B-Day. They're the resident couple of our fancy little dinner party. That white-clad chap over there goes by the title Captain. Several see him as an authority figure of sorts, though his leadership skills are questionable. And finally, there is Ninja. He's the most ruthless assassin I have ever met. A true natural-born killer. May God have mercy on our souls if he has chosen to be the imposter. ninja <laughs> Did Ninja just get kicked? Darn tootin'. Servers must be acting up again. All those in favor of starting without him, say aye. Aye. Hmm. Cool map. Everyone scatter! Come along, Mr. Cheese. Hey, do you mind if I tag along? It might be safer if we all stick together. Good idea. Whoa, what's going on? Owie. Oh my God, you killed him. Poppycock, I didn't know such thing. Yes, you did. You sliced Mr. Cheese in half. Oh, my dear boy, you must be confused. A gentle old bean such as myself would never perform such a ludicrous display of violence. Yeah, well, try telling that to the others. Oh my god, Mr. Cheese is dead? Jeez, you must be so broken up, the gentleman. I know you two were close. Indeed we were, B-Day. It's been a troubling 12 seconds since I found out he was dead. But there is no time for grieving when we have two imposters on the loose. Well, I'm going to skip this vote because I didn't see anything. I guess that seems fair. Here's what I would say if I didn't follow my gut at all times. No evidence needed here, baby. Let's vote someone out. Well, I reckon it's Angel. No, actually, it's me. But I'm never an imposter. I was just doing my crewmate tasks. Yeah, she was. Rose and I saw her in the reactor. Isn't that right, babe? Sure is. You know, the fact that you accused Angel at all makes me think it was you, Sheriff. Yeah, bro. Sheriff's always, like, killing and stuff, I think. Probably. Guys, it's not Sheriff, it's- Well, that's all the information I need to cast my vote. All those in favor of flinging Sheriff into the cold, infinite abyss of space, say aye. No, listen to me. It's the gentle- Aye. aye. Then the vote passes. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but it looks like these boots ain't big enough for the two of us. Wait, no, please! Dang, looks like we really screwed the pooch on that one. If only someone here had more evidence, we might have been able to save an innocent life. 
I've been trying to tell you this whole time that it's- Everyone scatter! Huh, all alone. Guess I better do some tasks. All right, let's clean this O2 filter. Well, that was simple enough. The gentleman sends his regards. What the? Wow, we're dropping like flies, people. We really need someone to step up to the plate and give us a lead. I know who the imposters are. Stoner, it's... you got anything? Dude, like, it's got to be one of us, right? You're darn right it's one of us, Stoner. Good observation. Say, why do they call you Stoner anyways? <sighs> I'm a geology major, you feel me? I sure do, stoner. Rocks are dope. Will you guys just listen to me? I know who both the killers are. One is Angel and the other is- Hey, like, Captain Bro, I just had this totally righteous thought that maybe it's Angel. I just said that. It is me, guys, I swear. Quiet, Space Witch. You care to expand on that theory, stoner? Well, like, Sheriff said Angel was it last time. Say no more, I already cast my vote. It seems we have reached a consensus. What? Traitor? Did you guys hear that? It's clear the other imposter is... My god, you did it, you gorgeous green goofball! Looks like there's only one imposter left. Looks like the reactor's down. Bro, major buzzkill. Follow me, everyone. Okay, now two of us need to place our hands on the scanner at the same time. Someone go to the left side. Roger that. Ready, Captain. I'm ready as well, good sir. Initiate reactor meltdown containment protocol. Oh my, the horror! Whoa, he's like all dead and murdery, dude. And that's the whole story. So it should be pretty obvious by now that it's the gentleman. Vote him out now and we win. My dear boy, you are woefully befuddled. I in fact believe you to be the imposter. Dudes, let's all chill. I have like made my final verdict. Time to cast our votes. Well, I'm voting for the gentleman. I can't help but feel betrayed, Mr. Player. You leave me no choice but to vote for you. <laughs> you sad gullible little noob. I was the imposter. Wait, what? Oh my god. I knew I should have just stuck to Fall Guys. Come on, almost there. As soon as they clear all the asteroids, the crewmates win. This is it, one more to go. Victory is mine. Ugh, I'm sick of being a boring crewmate all the time. Dude, stop whining just because I beat you so bad. What are you talking about, bro? You got voted out before you even killed anyone. Ninja did all the work. Key! Wow, sore loser much? Why don't you just leave game and cry about it? Just wait until I get to be the imposter. Then you'll see. Yeah, okay, whatever, dork. Come on, Ninja. Let's gloat over all the other people we beat. You know what? Just let me do the talking. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Is something bothering you, Mr. Player? Oh, hey, the gentleman. I don't know. I'm just so sick of losing. And bro's teasing is starting to get to me. Ah, yes, bullying. It's quite an ugly affair. 
My name is Mr. Cheese. Shut oh, up, Mr. Oh. Cheese! I'm sorry, Mr. Player. This simpleton <laughs> made me lose my train of thought. You were talking about bullying? Oh, yes. Nasty stuff. Truly despicable. Right. Well, why don't you introduce me to all these people I haven't played with yet? Bloody good idea. Well, you've already played with Stoner and Captain. Yeah, I remember them from the first episode. Episode? Nothing, never mind. The next on our list is Mother. She takes the role-playing aspect of this game a bit too seriously. Don't talk to me or my son ever again! Followed up, of course, by Poopy Fox 96 who never ceases to tickle me silly. And lastly, there is Goober. Goober is, well, Goober. Seems like quite the cast. Yes, indeed. Lock and load, everybody. Time to start the game. Okay, player. Just play it cool. Play what cool, Mr. Player? Oh, uh, nothing. Just doing my crewmate tasks. <laughs> this keycard is so hard to swipe. Yes, indeed it is. My name is Mr. Cheese. For the last time, quiet, you buffoon. You stupid, spineless, good-for-nothing incompetent. I have half a mind to... Mr. Cheese! <laughs> okay, okay, enough. You got him. Mr. Cheese, you good, boss? Honto? Wow, that happened fast. Anybody see anything? Jesus, Sorry, Belle, I don't speak the El Mexicano. But I'm going to assume you said, I have no idea who the killer is. You're awesome, Captain. Keep being awesome. Please, everyone. I need you to speak up if you have a lead. You don't know what it's like to raise a family in a world with two imposters. Well, like dudes, it's not me. Yeah, Stoner and I were together doing non-murder related things. Hmm. Well, then that rules you two out, but it's gotta be someone. Think, people. You know, Blair is being suspiciously quiet this whole meeting. Uh... Hey, how do I go into the vents like Ninja did? Eh? Uh? It's the Ninja! Kill him! Loving the enthusiasm, Goober, but this is a civilized society. First we vote without any hard evidence, then we kill him. All those in favor of flinging Ninja into the dark, limitless void of space say aye. Aye! Just wait a minute. Well, normally I would call you out for suspicious activity, but I'm just gonna chalk that one up to classic Mr. Cheese tomfoolery. Yeah, Mr. Cheese is too stupid to be a good imposter. He's not, like, a super big brain boy like the three of us. He's an absolute moron. <laughs> Mr. Cheese, dumb. <coughs> no, stop! Okay, it seems like we may have underestimated Mr. Cheese. Okay, there's only a few people left. Time to get my first kill. Yes, all alone. The perfect opportunity to strike. Oh, hey, player. <clears throat> uh, hey. <laughs> Can you believe Mr. Cheese back there? Murdering someone in broad daylight like that? Yeah, cra crazy. <laughs> and in front of the children, no less. I mean, what kind of horrible, despicable, rotten, no good scumbag would do something like that? Oh, well, when you put it like that. Timmy here is the captain of his Pee Wee softball team. <gasps> you want to see a picture? Uh. Maybe some other time. Look at him! Isn't he adorable? Yeah, he's cute, all right. That's because he takes after his mother. <laughs> Here, hold Franklin while I finish this task.
Yeah, I don't think I can do this. Do what? Dudes, like, Captain has been following me around everywhere, and it's totally harshing my mellow. Wow, stoner. And here I thought we were having a nice evening together. You better have a good excuse, bro, Migo. That sounds seriously sus. I was following Stoner because I have finished with all my tasks, and it's safer to travel as a peck. I call it the buddy system, though now it's more like the betrayal stab me in the backy system. Yeah, everyone voting for Captain say aye. 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 So it's a mutiny then. Okay, so like, I may have been a little paranoid there, but that's just a totally normal side effect of playing Among Us too long. Okay, I've been seriously lucky so far, but it's time I take matters into my own hands. I'm sorry, Poopy Farts 96. You're always my favorite. <laughs> What's so funny, dude? Oh, uh, nothing. Just remembering something Poopy Fart said. Yeah, that dude's hilarious. Anyways, better do my task in here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, b before you do that, let's, uh, go across the hall to the security office. Why? Well, we gotta make sure no one's doing anything suspicious out there. Right on, brother. Uh. Gotta hide. Where? I found two bodies, both in the reactor. You see anything? No, but I thought I heard someone go into the vents. Well, it's gotta be Bro. What? I was on the other side of the map. Why do you think it's Bro? Well, I, uh... See, he's lying. It's clearly him. Uh, no, wait. Mother, if I was the imposter, why didn't I kill you in navigation before? That's true. You know what? I believe you, player. Let's vote bro out. Wait, just hold on a second. Oh, hey, player. Did we win the game as the imposters yet? Ahem. <clears throat> uh. This game sucks. My name is Mr. Cheese. Shut up, Mr. Cheese. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> No, 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 this is my nightmare. Don't worry, I think you're safe in here. Mm -hmm. ah! Wait, uh, why are you yelling? Aren't you the imposter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Let's go back to playing Fall Guys. What? No. Just give this game a chance. I just think this game would be a lot better if I knew who the killers were from the start. It was more about running away from the imposters than about solving a mystery. There could be obstacles and booby traps to stop the runners. Oh, and when you cross the finish line, you're safe forever and you move on to the next round. Actually, you could probably just get rid of the imposters altogether and make it more like a series of challenges that eliminate more and more people until there's one ultimate victor. Okay, you literally just described Fall Guys. Exactly. Ah, what a charming specimen. Who are you calling a specimen, pal? Hey, the gentleman. Who's your new friend? This here is my associate, Mr. Egg. Hello there, fellas. Mr. Egg here. So nice to meet any acquaintances of the gentleman. Okay, are we seriously going to glance over the fact that he called me a specimen? What happened to Mr. Cheese? Wow. Uh, Mr. Cheese and I came to a mutual agreement to terminate our partnership. I'm sorry to hear that, the gentleman. Yeah, sounds like you got dumped. Not surprised. You have horrible fashion sense. 
Why, I never. What could possibly lead you to make such a preposterous accusation? Dude, you're wearing two top hats. That's insane. It is a little weird, the gentleman. But double the top hat, double the fancy. Hey, show some respect to the gentleman. He's an Among Us legend. He is? I've literally never seen him win. Yeah, me neither. Veteran, you've only played one game. Yeah, and the gentleman didn't win it. Why are we arguing about this? Good sirs, I'll have you know that I am an excellent Among Us competitor, and I take insult to your quips about my skill. Top-notch comeback, sir! Prove it then, and beat Veteran and I in the next round. Perhaps I shall. Or perhaps you shallent. Are you crewmate or imposter? Crewmate? But even if I was the imposter, I wouldn't tell you that. Then I suppose I have no choice but to believe you. Wait, how do I know that you're not the imposter? I swear on all that is fall, guys. I am a true blue American crewmate. All right, you're clean. Where's your first task? Medbay? Me too. Wait, hang on, veteran. There's people inside. Quiet, Mr. Egg. We don't want to be seen by any crewmates. And what do I do with the bodies, the gentlemen? Well, nothing, technically. The game doesn't allow you to move them in any way. Oh, brilliant observations there. Oh my god. The gentleman and Mr. Egg are the two imposters. What's our plan? Their cooldown counters can't possibly be used up already. I'm just gonna run in there and report them. Yeah, we're literally eyewitnesses. They gotta believe you. Sorry, player. I don't believe you. What? But Veteran and I saw him. We know that they're the imposters. Yeah. And nothing on earth will convince me otherwise. But I didn't do it! Oh, really? Oh, sorry, man. I, I could have sworn I saw you in there with the dead bodies. Veteran, he's lying. Dang, he's good. I can vouch for the gentleman. He's definitely a crewmate. Hmm, I'm not sure who I can trust. What do you think about all this, Poindexter? It's, uh... Engineer, and according to my calculations, there's a 12.5% probability it's the gentleman. Thanks, nerd man. How you liking those odds, poopy farts? <laughs> <laughs> Wise input as always, poopy farts. I move that we skip this vote. I suppose that sounds reasonable. All those in favor of skipping the vote say aye. Aye! aye. aye. Oh, wait, no, I got confused again. So you have a task in here, right? Sure do. All right, go finish it while I keep watch. Hang on, this rock's got a leaf pattern on it. Oh boy, this is turning out to be a real doozy. Hurry up, veteran. The coast is still clear, but the gentleman of Mr. A could be anywhere. <laughs> veteran? Veteran is no longer with us, I'm afraid. What? The gentleman? How did you- The vents, dear boy, an imposter's greatest asset. You're gonna pay for this, the gentleman. I'm gonna convince everyone. I'm still not convinced, everyone. I mean, on one hand, it could be the gentleman. But on the other hand, it could not be the gentleman. I think you see my dilemma. Well, now that there's only six of us, voting someone out makes a lot of sense mathematically for the crewmates. Whoa, ease up on the science mumbo jumbo, Albert Brainstein. I think you beat Einstein? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't name the smartest man in the world after his Eins. Guys, listen to me. The gentleman is working with Mr. Egg. If we don't vote him out now, his reign of terror will continue. I say we vote out Mr. Player. Egg, excellent idea, the gentleman. <laughs> Booby fights, what say you? <sighs> nice. A little outside the box, maybe, but I like your style. Booby farts proposes we vote out the geek. Are you talking about me? Why? <laughs> Booby farts got a gut feeling. And he's not just talking about the extra spicy burrito grande he had for lunch. All those in favor, say aye. Aye! Then the vote passes. Sorry, engineer. Looks like your chances of survival are now 0.0000%. All right, player. There may be something to your theory after all. Mm. 
Okay, I just have to finish a couple more tasks. Same, brother. Uh, oh. Yeah, I know, right? I'm totally a ghost now. Pretty sweet. Makes it way easier to do tasks when you don't have the looming fear of getting murdered hanging over you. Speaking of tasks, let's do the measure weather one together. It's real simple. You just click the begin button. Huh, I don't follow. Run for it, player. I'll hold him off. Ah. You got past me, player. Ah. Mr. Egg, it's Mr. Egg. I was running for my life from him. No, it wasn't. I was running away from player. Hmm. Well, player shouted first, so I'm more inclined to believe him. What are you thinking, poopy farts? <laughs> I don't think so. I highly doubt they'd have access to that kind of technology. Really? In the next 20 years, you say? That's going to dramatically affect my lifestyle when that comes out. What are you guys even talking about? Can we focus on the game here? I've been telling you every round that it's the gentleman of Mr. Egg. And if we don't vote one of them out now, we'll lose. How do you figure? The game ends when there's as many imposters as there are crewmates. If you vote me out now, and I'm not an imposter, it becomes 2v2 and the imposters win. Really sounds like we shouldn't vote you out then. Yes, but the same situation applies if you vote for Mr. Egg, and he turns out not to be the imposter. Drats, back to square one. Okay, listen, Captain Poopy Farts. I know I don't have any hard evidence, but I want you all to look into your hearts. Hear the sincerity in my voice. Nobody wants to win this game more badly than me, but this is bigger than that. This is about justice. This is about holding those imposters who eliminated our friends responsible for their crimes. This is for all the crewmates that have fallen in the line of duty. So please, please believe me. <laughs> that was beautiful, player. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. You're crying. Oh, your speech has moved me too. Let's do the right thing together. Really? <laughs> yes, really. All those in favor of voting out Mr. Player, say aye. 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 Oh, wait, dang, he tricked us. So long, Mr. Player. All right, time may switch to another lobby. Okay, the fuse box to turn the lights back on should be over here. I just have to flip all these switches on, and there. Wait, what the heck? Hey, uh, can you hold up a second and let me finish this? Hey, no need. Wow, impressive. Guess it would be to a square such as yourself. Cool cats like me are always doing boss stuff, daddy-o. Anyways, you better goose it before the imposter comes around. Word from the bird is that Betty is cruising for a bruising, you dig? Uh, what? Ah! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Ugh, why am I always the one getting killed as a crewmate? Come on, Greaser. Run away. Report my death. Do something. Wow, seriously, Greaser? That's how you're going to go out? Crying in a corner? Please, I don't want to die. Please, I don't want to die. <laughs> ah! Hey, player, over here. Hey, veteran. Player, have you met Greaser? This guy's awesome. Yeah, we've met before, and he most certainly is not awesome. You're bugging. Put an egg in your shoe and beat it, pal. Yeah, put bugs in your eggshells and eat it, pal. That's not the saying, veteran. Whatever, dude. Close enough. This is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. It's nonsense, he says. It'd be worse than mere nonsense, boy. Give me back my color, the gentleman. Or should I say, the scoundrel. Scoundrel? Watch your tongue, Captain. I only switched to white because my usual color was planted away by this, this rapscallion. Excellent point, sir. Yar, a rapscallion, am I now? Them's be fighting words, laddie. I get ye ash color fair and square. This scallywag in purple be the one who stole me own name. Your own name? Ha, I've gone by Captain since I graduated from 14 years of flight school. Isn't that a six-month program? Not for me. Enough! 
Let's handle this with a bit of civility, shall we? I will give up this spiffing white outfit in return for my usual charcoal garb. Cap'n will switch to a different shade, a nice cyan, perhaps. Light blue, just like the clear Caribbean seas. Yarr, that does sound nice. But what do I get? Your name back, of course. Can't be a commander of pirates without the title of captain. Arr, you ain't wrong, matey. Wait, but I'm captain. Not anymore. Now you go by the name Leader. Fine. I seriously need to find a new group to play with. Everyone scatter! Hey, veteran! Oh my god, player, it's Greaser. Is he looking over at me? Do I look cool? How's my hair? You don't have any hair, veteran? Oh my god, you're right. I just got this stupid crown. I look like an idiot. Hey, what's buzzing, cousin? Oh, so cool. Okay, I'm ending this now. Grazer, no! Why? Why, player? You want to win, don't you? Not like this. <laughs> You'll get over it. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here before someone finds us with the body. <laughs> let's go, veteran. I want to stay with Greaser. I want to stay with Greaser. Great Neptune's beard, this is hard. All right, stand watch. Don't let anyone see me. Got it. Don't let anyone see you. Wink, wink. Why are you saying it like that? I think we're on the same page. Okay, whatever, just stay here. This is actually impossible. Oh, hey, Blair. Hey, leader. Blair, is it possible for you to call me Captain when the real Captain and the gentleman aren't around? I know I agreed to the name change, but deep down I really didn't want to, and it makes me sad. Uh, sure, I guess. I knew you would. You're my best friend. W what's that now? Yep, you're my best friend, all right. Really, my only friend. That's why I wrote a song about us celebrating our bromance. You want to hear it? Uh... Oh! Player, 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 he's my best friend, best friend, best friend, best friend. Player, 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 he's my best friend, best friend, best friend, best friend. Player, captain, player, captain. Best friends, best friends, best friends, best friends. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? Pretty pitchy. Lyrically, though, it's got some real potential. What? Why are you covered in blood? Oh, don't worry, it's not my blood. It's from these crewmates I killed. How did you do this? Like with the murders? Well, with the gentleman, I did the old needle tongue. That always gets him. And Mr. Egg, I just bashed in the face with a crowbar. I don't even think that's an animation in game. Not quite sure how that happened. No, I mean, how did this all happen in the 10 seconds I was gone? Oh, tons more than that happened. Captain and Storm spotted me from down the hall and threatened to report the bodies till I said, if you guys get even an inch closer, you'll join the gentleman and Mr. Egg in Ghost Town, USA. That's what I call when you die in Among Us. Pretty cool, right? Hoping it catches on. Veteran. Oh, sorry. Anyways, they were all like, you're going down for this. You might be a god tier imposter, but we're going to call an emergency meeting and vote you out. Don't worry, though. I gave you all your props, and I was like, hey, it's not me, guys. Blair was the real mastermind of the whole situation. I was just following his orders. If anyone should get called a god tier imposter and get voted out, it should be him. What? You're going to pay for this one, veteran. Oh, you're going to pay. Come on, vet rabbit, you're up. Just, just give me a minute. All right, veteran, you only get one shot. 
Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Up in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the back, yeah, get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Veteran! Uh, I'm awake, I'm awake. Let me guess. They ate my old dream again? Yeah. How'd the gorillas react? Oh no, that's the weird part. This time the crowd was just full of normal people. Well, there's no more time for napping. Captain says he's gonna make an important announcement soon. Tight. Salutations, my good sirs. What's up, my homies? Hey, the gentleman. And Mr. Egg. What do you think Captain's announcement is going to be? What do you think Captain's announcement's gonna be? That's how stupid you sound all the time, Mr. Egg. You idiot. You dumb dork moron. Mr. Player, you forget yourself. Yeah, dude, you're giving off a really weird energy right now. He started it. All right, pay attention, everyone. I thought maybe we could try something a little bit different this round. What do you think about adding a third imposter? A third imposter? That's lunacy! It's lunacy, he says! Uh, meh, 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 meh. Yeah, two imposters are bad enough. Think of the children! Dude, like, it just seems like it might mess with the whole vibe, you know? Technically speaking, it would make it exponentially more difficult to win as a crewmate. I agree with Engineer. He's so smart and handsome. Dude, how the heck did Engineer pull such a smoking hottie? Hubba hubba. Everyone looks exactly the same here, Veteran. Okay, yeah, just keep telling yourself that, pal. Enough, everyone. I hear you loud and clear. You don't want to add a third imposter. But since we all know that these informal bow-wow sessions are largely ceremonial, I'm gonna go ahead with the changes anyway. Yeah, that seems about right. Dudes, why'd we stop? Let's go finish our tasks together. I'm probably gonna need help with at least all of them. Hey, you go on ahead, veteran. I'm just gonna hang out with Captain for a bit. Wait, why? Well, uh, because... Because he's best friends with me now, and you're crap in our style. Blair, is this true? Uh, yeah. I'm best friends with the Captain now. Get lost, loser. I'm in, and you're out. Fine. Then I guess I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> Dibs. I know that you were trying to get rid of them so we could work together as imposters, but that was a little harsh, don't you think? Oh yeah, we are both imposters, aren't we? I totally forgot about that whole thing. Oh, howdy, gang. I am really loving being on the imposter team for once. <laughs> so, how many people have you killed? Uh, zero. How many have you killed? Ah, just the one so far. But Timmy here did most of the stabbing. Oh, they grow up so fast. Jeez Louise, I am totally surprised to find out that a murder just happened. It probably wasn't mother or anything. Yeah, like, I wasn't thinking it was her at all. Cool, cool, cool. It sounds like we're all on the same page. I for one believe the killer was none other than veteran. What? But I'm the guy who reported the body. When I ran past it an admin, I was like, oh my god, no way. Someone should totally report this. Then I realized that that someone should probably be me. If I might interject, there's a reasonable probability that it's Stoner. Dude, unchill. I'm sorry, Stoner, but I did see you near Admin not too long before Veteran reported. I love it when you use that big, big brain of yours, babe. You know so many facts. With the most important fact being that I love you times infinity. Aww. Barf, can we please get on with the voting? Yeah, I'll gladly vote myself out so I don't have to hear any of that gooey romantic crap. All those in favor of casting Stoner into the cruel, fiery lava pit of torment, say aye. Aye! aye.
Well, gang, we may not have found the killer this time, but something tells me that we're about to crack this case wide open. All right, so who's going to kill who? I want to kill Veteran. Player only has enough room in his life for one BFF. You probably want him dead too, don't you, Player? You know, revenge for him betraying you in the last round and all? Yeah, 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 we'll get to Veteran. But our primary target is Mr. Egg. He's the biggest threat. Really? Mr. Egg? The lackey who follows the gentleman's every command? That's our biggest threat? Yes. Now come on, let's get out of- Hey, fellow crewmates. Any cool tasks in here? Mother, he's on to us! Sick him! Huh? Yeah. Oh my god! That was Franklin's first word! <sighs> Holy cow! What? Another murder? That's crazy! It was Mother. <sighs> what? Claire, why are you- I was in the room when it all went down. I saw everything. It was definitely her. And why should we believe you? Exquisite question, sir. Please, just vote out Mother. I know it's her. If she's not an imposter, vote me out next round. I suppose that makes sense. Folks, folks, it's not me. We can work this out, it's- Save it for the swap meet, Grandma. All those in favor of voting out Mother, say aye. 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 But my children! <laughs> Ah, looks like you were telling the truth, Mr. Player. Yes, and there are only a few tasks left to complete. Onward, crewmates. To victory! Let's go, babe. Hey, uh, Player, you did know that Mother was one of us imposters, right? Yes, Captain, obviously I knew that. But we were so close to my first win. I couldn't take any chances. I needed everyone to trust me. If you and me could pull off a double kill right now, the imposters are victorious. You're going to take the gentleman. Mr. Egg is mine. He needs to suffer. Why are you so obsessed with Mr. Egg all of a sudden? Nah, don't worry about that. Let's go. Quick, now's our chance. Oh, good evening, Captain. Nice of you two. Hey, player, I did it. I snapped the gentleman's neck. Oh, my God. You monsters. This is it, Mr. A. Any last words before I slice you into a million pieces? I don't understand, player. What did I do to you? Oh, you didn't do anything to player. But my name's not player. What? No, it can't be. My name... Guys? Guys? Huh. I guess they must have started without me. This is it, veteran. We'll finally have the power to bring back people from the dead! I know this helps the crewmates win and all, but at what cost? Shut up, veteran. You don't know what it's like to lose game after game after game. I'll do anything to win. Pull the lever! Y yes, Dr. Plankstein. <laughs> Look, veteran. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! You must have so many questions. Yeah, actually, now that you mention it, how is there lightning in space? Why are we operating on Mr. Poopy Farts while he's still in the spacesuit? Also, are we even sure he was a crewmate? Couldn't he have also been an imposter? Don't be ridiculous, veteran. Poopy Farts is definitely a crewmate. See, I, I totally called that. Hey, player, check out my stoom. Stoom? Uh, it's short for costume. Try to keep up, boomer. 
Veteran, you're not even wearing a costume. Uh, do you not see the sick banana on my head? I mean, this is Pinnacle Halloween, am I right? Whatever you say, man. At least you're wearing something new. You didn't want to dress up at all, the gentleman? Even I changed into these cool devil horns. Nah, but I am dressed up, my good sir. Today I am wearing only one top hat instead of two, as if I was some filthy street commoner. <laughs> right. My name is Mr. Pumpkin. Shut up, mister! <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. I didn't mean to yell at you. I just don't enjoy you constantly repeating what your name is all the time. Thank you for vocalizing your frustrations. I both hear your concerns, and I will actively try to work on them. Thank you. No problem. I love you. I, I love you. I said, I love you. I love you too. Oh. Okay, can someone please tell me what's going on? Oh, yeah, you missed the last game. The gentleman and Mr. Cheese are work associates again. Ahem. <clears throat> My name is Mr. Pumpkin. Oh, sorry. The gentleman and Mr. Pumpkin are work associates again. Oh, well, I guess that's nice. You know what else is nice? All these new costumes. Everyone looks so dashing compared to their normal drab selves. It's quite the shindig. Why don't you give me the rundown? Certainly. First, we have Captain, who is now rocking a paper boat on his head, for some reason. My friend Bill made me this hat. And next is Poopy Farts, foregoing his usual toiletries to adorn a giant fake knife. It's not a fake knife. Interesting. The next on our list is Bro. He's even more into himself than usual. You have the right to remain gorgeous, because you're handsome as balls, mere bro. And of course, that leaves us with Mother. Oh, I'm not a mother tonight. I dropped the kids off with their dad for Halloween this year, and I'm ready to cut loose. I like the sound of that. Careful, the gentleman. I can cast a love spell on you. I am a witch after all. <laughs> Boo. Oh, my. Ahem, <laughs> ahem. I mean, I'm sorry, Mother. I currently find myself involved in a much more pumpkin-shaped agreement at this time. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start the game myself. My hat! No! Bill's going to kill me! Hiya, Captain. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Yep, sure do. You look like a nice boy. I bet you got lots of friends. Well, I definitely have two. Flair is my bestie best, but I recently made a new friend named Bill. And boy, does he sure love boats. Billy the Boatman is what I call him. Well, I could be a friend, Captain. Yeah. Take your boat back. Take it. Sure thing, friendo. Ah! Hello? Hello? Yes? Who is this? Well, who are you trying to reach? I don't know. Ah, well, I think you got the wrong number. Do I? Tell me, mother. Have you checked the children? Wait, what? <laughs> Hello, Officer Bro here. Hey, Bro, I'm in communications right now, and I just had a really scary call from a stranger. All right, if he calls back, I can trace where it's coming from. Okay. Hello? It's me. You know, you're really scaring me. Is that what you want? No. Then what do you want? I want to win as the imposter. Mother, this is Officer Bro. I, I traced the call. It's coming from inside the ship. <laughs> Since when did this room get a wooden door? Oh, 
All work and no play makes Mr. Pumpkin a dull boy. Oh my god! Yes, Mr. Pumpkin! Okay, so I just found Captain's body. Looked like he got dragged down into the vents. You're for you, player. Wait, what was that? <clears throat> Nothing. My name is Mr. Pumpkin. <laughs> yes, yes it is. But let's get serious, people. There's still two imposters on the loose. Yes, indeed. And if we vote the wrong person out, then the imposters win. It's a real conundrum, I tells you. What do you think about all this, Poopy Farts? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, nice. Poopy Farts. <laughs> but seriously, does anyone understand this guy? Sorry, I don't speak farts either. I speak farts. You do? Oh, I mean, ah, uh, of course you speak fart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Poopy Fart said he did it. Wait, really? He says that he killed Captain, Mother, and Veteran. And that he'll do it again if you let him survive this round of voting. Well, a full confessional during my first shift on the job. I must be the best cop of all time. Hey, guys. Are we just going to believe everything Mr. Pumpkin says blindly? You know, not wanting to vote out a confessed imposter makes you rather sus, Mr. Player. Yeah, we should vote him out instead. Wait, no! Bye, Player. This is what I get for choosing Among Us over trick-or-treating. Please, you guys are making a horrible mistake! It's not me! Be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. Wait, that kind of sounds like a line from Lord of the Rings. And why are you dressed like that? You were the chosen one. It was said you would destroy the imposters, not join them. Okay, that one was clearly Revenge of the Sith. They may take our crewmates, but they'll never take our victory! All right, what is happening right now? Oh, Toto. I don't feel we're not in Kansas anymore. That doesn't even make sense in this context. This is madness. Madness. This is Among Us! So you're probably wondering how I found myself in this situation. Well, let me show you the person who's responsible for ruining my life. His name is Blue. Don't be fooled by that folksy Viking look he's got going on. This guy is trouble. Don't believe me? Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Hey guys, I'm new to this lobby. Just wanted to say hey before the game starts. Oh, hello. My name's Player. You can call my best friend here Veteran. Finally, we won't be the biggest noobs here anymore. No, I'm not a noob. I played Among Us even before it got super popular. So, why aren't you playing in a lobby with all of your friends? I mean, sometimes I do, but most of the time I hop into random lobbies and play with new people. I don't understand. You mean, you don't just play with the same core group game after game after game? What? No. Wait, do you? Yeah, pretty much. So, what's your uh, character, kid? I'm sorry, character? You know, your character. Like, everyone calls me Veteran because I got a gruff voice and have lots of video game experience. And my name is Player because I'm sort of the everyman that other people can relate to. Well, plus you forgot to change your name in the game menus. Shut up, Veteran. Oh, well, I don't really have a character. In all the other matches I play, we usually go by our colors. Just makes things easier. Are you literally insane? I don't know how to respond to that. So, we're just supposed to call you... Blue? Uh, yeah? Is that a problem? <coughs> <laughs> Anyways, do you think you can introduce me to the rest of the players here? What do I look like, the gentleman? <laughs> <laughs> Sick burn, player. Thanks. I am so confused. Oh nice, the Align Telescope task. 
Wow, space is totally dope. It really makes you feel small in comparison, doesn't it? What do you mean? It makes me feel like a giant, because I'm so big and stars are so small. What? See? They're like little ants between my fingertips. No, but they're actually big. You understand that, right? If they're so big, why do we need a giant magnifying glass to see them? Because they're really far away? You just can't keep your story straight, can you? Oh my god, is everyone on this server an idiot? Wow, you're so lucky my best friend Flair isn't around. He'd be furious if he heard you say that. Flair said his best friend was veteran. What? All right, talk to me, people. What's the 411? Engineer and Gnome are dead. I saw their bodies over near weapons. Did you see anyone else? Nope. I was all alone. Well, Mr. Cheese and I were on the complete other side of the map. I believe Mother can vouch for us. You betcha. I saw them both in the specimen room. BF here says he was in the office. You mean the place on the map or the television series? Obviously, he means the place in Game Veteran. Shut up, you don't know. Maybe he was like an extra or something. Listen guys, this seems like a classic case of self-reporting to me. What? Why would I do that? <laughs> Same reason everybody does. To shrug off suspicion. Listen here, pal. There are two things you need to know about this lobby. One, player will never ever win, because he sucks and he's a giant noob. Hey! And two, my name is Mr. Cheese. All right, fine. Let's just skip this vote for now. But keep an eye on Red. He's sus. Uh, Red? Yeah, who's Red? Ah, player. I mean player. All right, time to catch this guy in the act. Mr. Cheese, stop licking the cameras. What the? You pitiful, mindless imbecile. Can't you just be normal for two minutes? Ahem, the gentleman? That's not how we communicate with one another. What is wrong with these people? The gentleman and Mr. Cheese? Yeah, they have a very troubled partnership. They're constantly fighting. But in a weird way, that kind of makes me think that they're going to figure it out, you know? Like, I'd be more worried about them if they stopped fighting. Because then you'd know that there'd be nothing left fighting for. Real relationships aren't perfect, and perfect relationships aren't real. What are you even talking about right now? I'm just trying to figure out who the imposter is. Oh, well, I don't think it's those two. Obviously. Ha! I knew it! Huh, guess you're right. It was player after all. Now flip it back to the gentleman and Mr. Cheese. I'm missing all the juicy drama. Shut up, idiot. Let's go report it. Well, you may have been right, but I am really not vibing your energy, bro. All right, everybody. It's player. How dare you accuse my BFF? And without any proof, no less. No, I have video evidence. I was in security when I saw everything. Veteran can confirm. Go ahead. Tell him what you saw. Well, the gentleman and Mr. Cheese were really tearing into each other. But I think they eventually patched things up. Sure did. We found out that a healthy partnership is one based on honesty and mutual respect. Ain't that right, the gentleman? Sure. Whatever. No, I'm not talking about some weird relationship drama. Tell him what you saw player do. Oh, yeah. He totally murdered poopy farts. Oh, ah. gasp. No, it's not me. I swear. Sorry, bestie. But it sounds like they caught you red-handed. Granted, your hands are always red. But the point still stands. Fine. Vote me out. Then you'll see I was innocent the whole time. Yep, that was a lie. I was definitely guilty. I had imposter written all over me. So, now we're here. And I bet you're thinking to yourself, how's Player going to get out of this situation? Surely Player will be able to get revenge on Blue and finally come out victorious. Long story short, I'm not. Ha! See? I told you guys he was the imposter. I'm the best Among Us player ever. Nothing's going to stop me from- Go back to your game to <laughs> turn, you stupid blue boy! Looking round 
everything I needed you Try to give me all the clues Hoping I would see the truth Didn't know it Didn't know till we parted Couldn't see the signs Until you had enough to say goodbye Wish I could go back to where we What are you watching, gentlemen? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. <sighs> hey, what's up, Home Slice? Yeah, hiya, bestie. Dude, we talked about this. I'm his best friend, not you. You said we all could be best friends together. That was obviously just a lie to make you feel better. Guys, if you're gonna argue, can you do it somewhere else? I'm feeling kind of down today. But I want to be around you at all times. Wow, creep alert. Don't worry, I'll leave you alone, player. A real best friend can tell when their buddy needs some space. Oh, I'll give him so much space, he'll basically feel completely abandoned. See, now you're going too far in the other direction. Dang it. <sighs> yeah, oh, I know that feeling. M Mr. Egg, is that you? I barely recognized you in the pink. Well, me and Mr. Cheese couldn't both be orange, so yeah, here I am. You feeling a little down there, buddy? Yeah, I'm just kind of bummed that I never get to win. I hear ya. Love is a tricky game. Sometimes it feels like you are always on the losing side. What? Love? I'm talking about Among Us. Yeah, but if you really think about it, at its core, isn't Among Us all about love? Uh, not really. Ah, good evening, player. Nice to see you with... Oh, Mr. Egg. I... I didn't expect to see you around here anymore. You, uh, look good. Thanks. Wow, really, the gentleman? Ah, uh, I mean, you're ugly, you disgusting pig person. Wow. Ouch. Yeah, oh my god. This is excellent. Now we can hang out the entire game. <sighs> Come on. Let's go kill Mr. Cheese. Wait, hold on. I get why you want to kill him. But we got to be smart about this. Everybody knows about your weird little beef with Mr. Cheese. If he dies first, it might bring on a lot of unwanted suspicion. No, we need to go for a target that's easy prey. Someone gullible and stupid. Yeah, but who could that be? Watering the plants all day long. Watering the plants while I sing this song. Gotta do my tasks, cause tasks are good. Gotta do my tasks like a crewmate should. Man, that's another hit song right there. Bullseye. Oh, come on. Someone's coming. Hide. Hey, Captain, just wanted to say to watch out for player. When he doesn't hang out with me mid-game, it's usually because he's the impost. Oh, yep, he's dead all right. Captain's dead, everybody. No, not a foolish leader. Where'd you fight, veteran? The greenhouse. Although now it's more like the red house. You know, from all the blood and stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> well, like, it wasn't me, dudes and dudette. I was chilling in the lab doing tasks. Alone? I don't know, guys. That seems pretty sus. It sure does, Mr. Egg. I'm casting my vote for stoner. Dudes. I don't know, guys. I think it might be player. Nah, it's stoner. Let's send him flying. Do that. All those in favor of launching stoner off the balcony to his inevitable doom say aye. 
No, that sounds good. Well, 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 what do we have here? A couple of imposters scheming? Uh, no. I don't know what you're talking about, veteran. Yeah, sure you don't. You may have all the others fooled, but not me. I finished 12th in my class at DeVry Online Learning. I'm basically a mental level genius, and I'm onto you, pal. I'm not leaving your sight. Every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Oh, I don't think you will, veteran. Yeah, why is that? Because there's something your genius brain didn't put together. I find that hard to believe, but go on. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Egg, but don't you have to be alive in order to spy on someone? You sure do, sir. Yeah, but how does that relate to- Oh, no. You're gonna kill me. How did I not see this coming? Any last words, veteran? Yes. Tell my family that I- Oh, he got him, sir! Dang it, Mr. Egg! Stop stealing all my sweet kills! Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. No, it most certainly will not. Uh, it isn't what it looks like? <laughs> I am saddened to report that our dear, dear friend Veteran is dead. No! He was like a brother to us! Wait, really? I didn't know you guys were so close. We go frothing together on the weekends. Frothing? Short for frisbee golf. Oh my god, no one calls it that. Can we please get back to the point, gentlemen? Veteran is dead, and I know who did it. It's Mr. Cheese. How dare you say my name? Mr. Cheese and the gentleman did the murders, and they're trying to blame it on player. Oh my god, is that true, the gentleman? No, of course not. Gee whiz, babe, I don't know who to believe. I think Mr. Egg is right. Let's vote out the gentleman. Yeah, see, now I think it's player. What? Why? I don't know. You just seem kind of... I don't know. Sus. Yeah, sus. That's the word. I was totally on board when Mr. Egg said it, but with you, it just seems way fishier. Way to go, player. Wow, you too, Mr. Egg. You guys all suck. Thanks for watching the video! All right, bub, we're the last three players remaining, and we're on to you. You better start talking. You're gonna sing like a little canary. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> Listen, you got the wrong guy. Where am I? What's going on? I'll be asking all the questions around here, pal. All right, first question. What's your favorite color? Uh, yellow? Wrong answer, pal. Ow, dude. Hey, Mr. Cheese, uh, quick sidebar. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Okay, first off, Mr. Cheese, you're doing great. Yeah, oh, thanks. I definitely thought so. Just got a couple notes for you is all. Uh-huh. Okay, first, your questions need to be about the murders, because we're trying to figure out who the killer is. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> good note, good note. And second, before we went into this, we kind of agreed that you would be the good cop and I would be the bad cop. Yeah, but I wouldn't be the bad cop. I'm sure of a loose cannon that plays by his own rules. Okay, fine. I was really looking forward to it, but I will switch and be the good cop, and you can be the bad cop. Great idea, player. Sorry about that, veteran. It's been a stressful game for everyone, I think. We just want to ask you a couple questions in order to get to the bottom of this. Can I get you anything? A water? Coffee, perhaps? Uh, no thanks. How about I bring you a nice warm glass of goat's milk? Mmm, delicious. Ew, why would you warm up goat's milk? Well, I didn't intentionally. It's been sitting in my car all day. We're gonna need another sidebar. What's up, partner? Mr. Cheese, the whole good cop, bad cop routine only works when there's one good cop and one bad cop. Right, makes sense. So which one do you want to be? I want to be the silly cop. What? Yeah, I want to be the real yuckster of the precinct. I can solve crimes with laughter. No, th there is no silly cop. You guys know I can hear everything you're saying, right? All right, just tell us what the heck happened back there, or else you're going to get voted off. Spill that beat, punk. Okay, no problem. 
The game started out just like any other. Until I got into electrical. Good evening, my dear sir. What's up, gentle dude? My name is Mr. Cheese. Uh, why are you like this? The gentleman, I didn't mean to- Don't! Okay, why don't I just do my task in here and then I'll give you guys some space. Alright, that was easy enough- Oh my god! I'll be in peace, sweet prince. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman is dead, everyone. <gasps> I know, right? It's crazy. Well, what did you see? Honestly, nothing. I was just doing my task. It was the calibration one. Did it first try. Let's not make a big deal out of it. Who else was in there with you, veteran? Just Mr. Cheese. Let's kill him! Wait, everyone. It wasn't me. It was Mother. Me? <laughs> I would never. She vented, killed the gentleman, and vented again while Veteran was distracted. She was trying to frame me. Oh, that's ridiculous. <sighs> is it, Mother? I'll tell you what's ridiculous. Imagining this little guy is an imposter. I mean, just look at him. I'm still not so sure, guys. He could be telling the truth, but he's also the most likely suspect. Maybe we should vote him off just to be safe. Guys, if Mother is not imposter, in my name, not Mr. Cheese. <gasps> oh, but your name, Mr. Cheese. Everyone vote out mother. Kill her! Nice work, everyone. Only one imposter left to go. Hmm. Sorry, veteran. Cut the crap. I know all this stuff already. You're the second imposter, aren't you? It would be seriously messed up if you were. Admit it! What? No, I'm not, I swear! It has to be you, because we know it's not Mr. Cheese, and we know it's not me. Wait a sec. Do we know it's not you? Yeah. Okay, before you do whatever you're thinking, just... I can't understand him. Can you understand him? That's a big nopsicle for me, veteran. Wow. Why would you put the duct tape on if you were just going to rip it off right away? I don't know. It looks cool in the movies. Yeah, let's duct tape him again. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Just hear my side of the story first, okay? After the meeting, I went to Med Bay. Oh, hey, player. Are you wanting to use the scanner, too? Yep, it's my last task. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Here, it's all yours. Thanks. Well, I got you here, player. I couldn't help but notice you didn't show up to our daily best friend picnic. I waited for hours. We don't have daily best friend picnics, Captain. I know, because you never come to them. That's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes I get the feeling that I like being your friend a lot more than you like being mine. Which is obviously ridiculous. You're pretty much obsessed with me. But when you don't come to our daily picnics or Saturday bingo or my birthday party, I can't help but get the feeling that you don't like me very much. Captain, what did you do? Oh, well now these make me look very suspicious. Everybody vote out Captain. He's guilty. No. Please! What makes you think it was him? I saw him kill Poopy Farts and Goober! Wait, so you actually witnessed him committing these vicious acts of violence? Well, no. Not technically. I was in the middle of the scanner when it must have happened. But he was the only other person in there. It was definitely him. Wow, player. You know, it hurts when your best friends don't show up to support you. This is like my birthday party all over again. All those in favor of voting out Captain say aye. Uh, my name is Mr. Cheese. Wait, before you kick me out, you all did get my birthday invitations, right? I mean, my mailman has held a grudge against me since my pet snake Charlie bit him, so maybe they got lost in the mail, or... <laughs> we all got the invitations, Captain. Trust me. Oh. I see.
We really should have gone to his birthday party. It was at a CeCe's Pizza player. Gross. And that brings us to the present. Well, that story didn't help at all. It doesn't help because I'm not the imposter. Well, neither am I. Guys, 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 we're running out of time. And I have no idea which one of you should live. Two rock, paper, scissors. Fine. Yeah, that seems fair enough. All right, you ready? Ready. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yes, I won. No. Congratulations, player. Looks like you live. And get to watch veteran die. Dang it. Captain, shoot him. He's the fake player. No, fellow crewmate. This non-humanoid should be your primary target. Eliminate. Eliminate. God, it could be either of you. Really? I feel like it's pretty obvious. Affirmative. This replicant is clearly the robot. Initiate termination procedure, Captain. <sighs> it's just too hard to tell. Guess I'm gonna have to shoot one of you at random. Wait, 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 hold on a sec. Yes, maybe we can formulate another plan? Well, I could ask a series of questions that only the real player would know. Yes, yes, let's do that. Great idea, Captain. Uh, on second thought, maybe let's just shoot one of us at random. Preferably the real player, I mean, the fake player here. Not a chance, pal. And question numero uno is for you. What is my favorite color? Oh, uh, calculating. I'm going to guess white. Yep, that's the right answer. You nailed it, buddy. Nice work. Seriously? All right, player, if that's even your real name, this next one should be a cakewalk. What is Euler's formula for calculating polyhedra? What? I don't know that. How do you know that? Actually, I'm not sure. Seems pretty off-brand for me, to be honest. Ooh, I know, I know. Go ahead, real player. You can solve for chi with the number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of faces equals two. Bingo, correct again. That's strike two for you, player. Looks like you're out. No, wait, there's three strikes in baseball. Well, sorry, Mr. Robot. I don't know the rules. I never played as a kid because running in pants made me chafe. The real player would have known that. So that's strike three. Okay, just, just stop, okay? Let me tell my side of the story and you'll see that this very obvious robot next to me is not the real player. Go on. Okay, it all started about 10 minutes ago. Nice. I love it when we get to be imposters together. Keep your voice down. There are eyes everywhere. Dude, don't be so paranoid. There aren't any cameras in here. Yeah, but I was reading online now that there's bots in this game that help you cheat. They have supersonic hearing and can see through walls with their special heat vision. Not to mention they're practically invincible. They only have one weakness. And what's that? Bullets. Pretty sure that's everyone's weakness, veteran. Come on, let's go kill somebody. Shh, dude, they can hear you. The Gentlebot, report. Targets are on the move. Good, good. All according to plan. <laughs> okay, there are two of them and two of us. I think our plan is pretty obvious. Right, 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 totally. But uh, just for fun, can you say it out loud? We're gonna kill them at the same time, veteran. Oh, yeah, 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 for serious. I was thinking the exact same thing. Okay, you go kill mother and I'll go take care of bro. Dude, I don't want to kill Mother. Those many crewmates freak me out. Ugh, fine. You go kill Bro, and I'll go kill Mother. Deal. I'll give you the signal. <laughs> What's that now? Yeah, what the H-E double hockey sticks are you talking about, Brosif? Blair, now! <laughs> that was a close one. Oh, dude, we should have killed them with our knives. Now we don't know if they were bots or not. Pretty sure they weren't bots, veteran. The imposters have eliminated bro and mother. 
Then it's time. <laughs> Everybody vote a veteran and player. They're the imposters. I saw them kill bro and mother. My god. Say it's not so, player. It's not so. No, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, player and I didn't kill anyone. But I saw them. The gentleman here can confirm. Gentlebot, activate live confirmation mode. Activated. Mr. Cheese is telling the truth. I saw them commit the murders with my own two human eyes that are made of flesh. I also have two human eyes that are made of flesh. Compelling argument as always, the gentleman. Also, might I add that Mr. Cheese is looking really nice today. The gentleman, please, we're in public. Doesn't anyone think it's a little sus that the gentleman is complimenting Mr. Cheese? He never does that. I don't know, Mr. Cheese does look pretty nice today. All right, people, it's time to vote. And right now it's a he said, he said, he said, he said. So I'm going to suggest we vote up Poopy Farts instead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Poopy Farts, it's nothing personal. You've just been so quiet this whole time. Pretty sus. <laughs> I think we could do without the vulgarity, Poopy Farts. You kiss your mother with that mouth. <coughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. I I had no idea. But I'm still voting you out. Emotions don't matter. Only logic and reason. All right, let's get this over with. All those in favor of voting out Poopy Farts say aye. 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 Dude, vents are great for getting around the map, but it's not exactly an ideal place for a conversation. I know, I know. This might be the only place that's safe. I think you're right about the bots, veteran. Something is definitely going on with the gentleman and Mr. Cheese. Yes. Oh. So let's go hunt them down together. We can stay out of their sight by traveling through the vents. Once we find them, it's an easy double kill for the win. Cool, just remember to use your gun, player. It's their only weakness. That doesn't make any sense, veteran. Freeze, robot scum. The Gentlebot, how did you get past your defenses? They must have used the fence. I am sorry, Mr. Cheese. I hate to disappoint you, especially when you look so nice today. Ah, oh, Gentlebot. Veteran, attack! Oh, ah! Yes, I did it. Wait, what? You should have listened to your friend, player. What the? Dude, I told you. Now you will pay for killing Mr. Cheese, who even in death is looking really nice today. Initiate termination sequence. What? Crewmates can't kill imposters? I'm a bot. I can do whatever I want. Here, watch this. No, this is impossible. Look at me, I'm such a loser. I never get to win this game. Wine, 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 wine. All right, now that's just uncalled for. Bibs. Sweet, a gun. Wait a minute, what the heck is going on here? So that's the whole story. Please, Captain. I know it's crazy and it doesn't make any sense, but I swear in my life that it's the truth. Don't worry, player, I believe you. Really? Oh, thank God. Yeah, there's just one thing. What is it? If all that's true, then that means you're an imposter, and I'm a crewmate. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> nice one. Player loses yet again. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, but if I can shoot a gun, doesn't that mean I'm also a bot? Yes, it does, Captain Bot. Captain? But what? Is humor's formula for calculating polyhedron motions don't matter. Only logic and reason. Zero one one zero 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 one zero zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one zero 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 zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bot thing checks out. <laughs>